All right, I thought I'd do a quick walk around and uh, discussion about my bike. This is a 2011 KTM 690 SMC. Uh, it has about 20,000 kilometers on it. And I wanted to go through 10 things that I don't like about this bike, but they're pretty easily fixed. So number one is the gas cap. Uh, not all SMCs have this problem, but the gas cap tends to leak. Um, usually around the base because of the simple design of the tank uh, basically it's just flat and the pl plastic filler just has a simple Vuitton gas resistant o-ring that stops gas from spilling out plus it's level with the tank so any dust or dirt or whatever gets in there but the most important thing is that the fuel leaks um, so the simple fix is to buy this CJ Designs um, gas filler which recesses into the tank and lifts it up a little further you do still have to use the stock o-ring with that but that's a part that i would highly recommend changing especially if you're doing any kind of dirt riding but even for road use uh, you don't want your gas to be spilling out so that's number one number two the transmission which i think is fairly common with a lot of different ktms but especially on the smc uh fifth and sixth gear hits false neutrals quite often i've had I've had the, the bike pop out of second gear in a corner too, which is a little scary. So that's something that KTM could definitely address. Um, I just purchased a new spring and the, the, the little shifter lever thing, uh, which I'll be installing. It's about a hundred bucks and I'll see if that helps. I just shift harder and, and I don't have too many false neutrals, but it does still occur. So that's number two. Uh, number three, the seat. The stock seat, honestly, it's not that bad. I didn't find it too bad. I mean, what do you expect? It's a supermoto. It's a dirt bike seat. It's not going to be super comfortable, but uh, you can easily replace it with this seat concept seat. It's much better. Um, the foam is much better. It's much wider here where you actually sit most of the time. It has a grippier, grippier top and they sell you the complete seat, which is the uh, it has a new seat pan. So it's harder. It's thicker. The rubber uh, pads are better. They also include um they also include the clip here um so it's a little stronger and it the stock seat tends to have it wears a little hole here and it wears out so so that's that um the little rubber like i said is better so that's number three um next on my list is uh four the shift lever bolt um this the way I don't know if you can see it here, but the way this is designed, it's just Loctite in and I've had one actually back itself out and it's super dangerous. So I didn't do a very good job, but I, I Loctite it and I safety wired it. So that's not going anywhere. But that's another one that I think should be changed to the other style with a, some sort of a retainer clip. Um, that's number four. Number five, the gauge cluster. Um, not all, again, I'm not all MC, SMCs have this problem, but KTM uses this gauge cluster on a bunch of their bikes and they, they're not completely waterproof or dustproof. So over time they can get condensation and it ruins the electronics. Again, pretty easy fix. You can pull it apart. You can put silicone or whatever you want to seal it up. Um, this gauge is not bad so far. So that's whatever. Uh, six, the tank bolts. Um, Again, an easy fix. So the bolt down here, which you can see, and the bolt, which you can't see, which is under the seat, these two that hold the tank on, uh, <clears throat> they're, they tend to be kind of weak. So if you're gonna do any sort of jumps or anything, you should replace those or your tank bolts might break and your whole rear subframe might fall off. Uh, not literally, but you know, it'll be hanging. So that's that. Um, number seven, the rocker bearings in the head, uh, which of course you can't see because the valve covers on but um, in the head right here uh, there are two rocker arms that hold the cam in place and the bearings tend to go bad they replaced it with a newer one i think it was in 2014 or 15. Um, so you can just order that part directly from your ktm dealership and install those yourself they're it's pretty easy to do i think they're only like 50 bucks each so definitely worth doing so that's that uh the air filter seal. So you can see here, I have an aftermarket K&N air filter. 
Um, but the, the, the stock air filter has this huge box that goes here and the air filter is right about here, but it doesn't seal very well. So dust can still get into the corners and the sides. So I would recommend uh, either using a bunch of grease, which is a shitty solution, or just stay, change it to something like this. Um, if you do this, you definitely have to remap the bike. You cannot run this with the stock map or you will probably have engine problems because the bike will be running way too lean. Um, so that's that. Uh, and I'll get into that in another video of things that you can adjust. Uh, but you definitely need to remap if you're gonna do that. Of course, if you have a pipe as well, I recommend doing those at the same time. Um, stiff fork. So there's a bunch of different, I mean, this is sort of a give or take sort of thing. Uh, depending on how heavy you are, but the fork is really stiff stock, which may be good for a racetrack, but on everyday road use, it's just way too stiff. So um, of all the threads I read, I, I, I decided to try one of them, one of the solutions, which is to remove the spacers in the top of the fork caps. So that's what I did. I took the spacers out. I put in more uh, new fork oil at the same time. Um, and I, you can either, you can actually raise the 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 uh, forks in the triple clamp even more to increase the steering angle. Um, I'm just on the second line, and I find this really comfortable for where I'm at. It does have a little bit of dive on heavy braking, but for overall use, it's much more. You, you get much more feedback from the front fork, um, and it's just more comfortable to ride too. So that's that. And the last one is the exhaust. So the stock exhaust, of course, is this big, massive heat monster and uh it's not very good so um that's usually the first thing that most people replace on their bikes anyway um this is an, an uh a Kropovich. uh it's was crashed by the previous owner it's just a slip on um so yeah i i chopped the end of it off because it was all mangled and i cleaned it up a bit so it still looks like shit, but it doesn't really matter it sounds the same and the bike runs great with it on so uh yeah, you can see I did a bunch of other small things to this bike, but those are the things that I think you definitely should take a look at when you decide to purchase one of these. Um, all the other stuff, like the the bling, what are, what are all the anodized orange stuff, that's just because it was cheap and I like doing little things to my bike. Um, I guess you could say the lever, the brake lever also could be replaced um, because it's fairly soft, but that's another, you know, $100 part. Otherwise, this bike is a monster. It's so much fun. You can just throw it around. It's super light. It does okay on freeways, um, but I'm considering buying a 990 Adventure. But for everyday road use and filtering through traffic and real world situations, this bike is amazing. So um, highly recommend it. Those are the top 10 things which I dislike, but again, they're about, they're pretty easy to fix. So I uh, hope you like this short video and uh, like or comment if you um, if you have any questions peace